So if you're anything like me, you uh, grew up uh, eating sourdough jacks at uh, Jack in the Box. I love them. Uh, but for some reason, every single one I get just gets a little worse. I don't know why. So that's why I did this. <laughs> yeah, I made my own. You want to see how? I'll show you. Come on, let's go. I mean, let's get started because I can't say let's go because that's the other guy. Let's get started. The first step towards making our sourdough jack is forming the burger patty. We've got a quarter pound of 80-20 ground beef here. This is a medium burger grind that'll give us a great texture on this. Just form this into a loose meatball. Don't overpack it or you'll kill all that texture. Uh, and then put this on some wax paper. Uh, aluminum foil would work as well. Fold this over. And then you're going to grab something big and heavy and flat and squish this thing down. Smash it really good. Measure it out by putting the bread on top of it you're going to use. Make sure that it's bigger than the bread because it will shrink as it cooks. And uh, the seasoning for this, you want to do this right beforehand, is just a little bit of Lowry seasoning salt. It's got a few extra things in there than just salt and pepper, and it really kind of duplicates the flavor nicely. When it hits that cast iron, it does wonderful things. You're going to need to toast the bread because, you know, it's a toasted sourdough jack thing. So butter it on one side and throw it in your skillet. Toast that. Now toast the dry side a little bit too. It'll really help the bread hold up once we form the burger. When that's done, it looks perfect right there. Just pull that off and set that to the side. Now we're going to let the pan heat up again and put in our burger patty. The pan should be very, very hot and smoking. We're going to cook this to a medium. It only takes a second. Uh, like two minutes, something like that. We're going to reheat the bacon while we're doing that. When it's time to flip the burger here, cast iron gives you a really nice crust on your burger. That's also why you have to kind of work under it because uh, you want to keep the crust on the patty. When it's done, just pull it off and uh, then we're going to throw a slice of cheese on it to melt it. All right, so what does it take to assemble the sourdough jack? Well, it takes a slice of cheese on the bread here. Then we take our patty and put this down here. It shrank a little bit. I should have squished it more. I didn't. Bacon. 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 Oh yeah, that happened. There you go. Now on this side, this side is the one that gets the mayo and the ketchup. Yeah, there's mayo and ketchup on this. It's kind of weird. But they're two separate things. It's not a burger sauce. So you got a little bit of mayo. Yeah, you used a little much. A little bit of ketchup. Am I working fast? Yes, I'm working very, very fast. I'm working fast because I got 10 things going right now. I make this look easy, don't I? Yeah. All right. So, Toto Jack. <laughs> there you go. That's it. That's the thing. That's the stuff. There it is. And I'm going to cut things diagonally. Sue me. Great thing about a Sourdough Jack made at home. You can make it a little rare and a little thick and a little ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha. Yeah, that's a quarter pound of meat. That's uh, bacon, the tomato, the sauce, the cheese, the sourdough. There it is. That is a sourdough Jack again. Ha oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, that's what it takes to make a sourdough Jack. And uh, now you know. And uh, there you go. So uh, make your own because they're delicious. And they're better than they make it at uh, Jack in the Box because Jack in the Box, they don't hire the best and brightest. If you work at Jack in the Box, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you. Do better. Come on. All right. Thanks for joining me. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye.